Can I have a different weapon? I mean, if I just held down Y, it would have worked. Yuri! Nice of you to... Fuck me up. Actually, if I just do this... Boom. What is that, actually? Yeah, I picked up one of these. Oh, it's just a bag of energy glucose. Ooh! Fancy. Oh, The space elevator. Already read. <laughs> oh, I did indeed. Oh, drinks. Yeah. Get me all nice and filled up. Yeah, I'm just, I'm defaulting to the wrench probably far too much. And I'm realizing this. I don't mean to. It's just I press Y to switch to my weapons. And I keep forgetting it switches to... Or more so, it switches between two. Two weapons. This edition of Transstar Life's Rising Star segment, we profile Harley Granger. A member of the Neuromod sales team who's currently stationed aboard Talos 1. Some of you might recognize Harley's name from his professional baseball days, when he played second base and won number 66 for the Tornadoes. Harley was assigned to Talos 1 two years ago and has made the journey into orbit and back over 50 times. Not bad for someone who's afraid of flying. My time playing baseball forced me to deal with that fear. He said, believe it or not, a shuttle flight to Talos 1 is far easier than a cross-country airliner trip. Ah. No, I keep forgetting that it de it defaults between two weapons, basically. And so I'm thinking it's going to switch me back from this to this, but it doesn't. Also, the firepower on that's terrible. The power on that's a bit better. <laughs> yeah, now this will switch between these two. Boom. I'm pretty sure there's probably a mimic somewhere. Fucking knew it. Ah. Uh, they're multiple. No, I did. I knew it. I called it. Considering I said, I'm pretty sure there's a mimic somewhere. And then I get attacked by one. Fucking used to it. I can deal with mimics with the wrench. Like, that's fine. It's just the phantoms are a, a different beast. Oh, well, we can find the Huntress Boltcaster. Yay, and how shit this thing is. Whoa. Oh. Oh, it's out of power. Well, that blows. I'm pretty sure... Yep, read that. Also, I do not want to be using this. We know it's shit. We do not need a demonstration of it being shit. And the last thing I want is to end up, you know, switching to it and realizing... Oh! Oh, no, I'm not four of them. Fucking damn right. This is why exploration's a good thing. I need prepared to... Which means I could probably go back to... Where is it? Prepare to. There we go. Booyah! I could probably continue one of the quests I'm on. So, exports. You can't ship it home, it's already been noticed. One month pay makes it go away. Sales folder. Holy balls. I don't think we have to worry too much about the side effects. From what I've gathered, it's just a little pinprick near the eye, right? I mean, it looks scary, but I think... If we can get advertising to push some of the more appealing pros of NMs, we can shift public attention from that. I'm not too worried about the red eye stuff either. I don't think any one person in the public sector is going to manage to get their hands on that many NMs at one time. Not at these prices. What I find far more worrying, though, are these reports of memory loss during NM removal. I mean, amnesia? Seriously? We can rewire a person's brain, give them any skill we want, but we can't avoid resetting their head back to the moment they got that shit installed if we decide to take it out. If this leaks, it'll kill NM sales. Doesn't matter if you need specialized equipment and training to take one out. No one wants to risk losing years of their life just for the ability to speak French. This can't even go in the fine print. As far as the customer is concerned, NMs are permanent. Oh. Wow. That's a bit shit. Wouldn't that be, uh, like, illegal as well? Like, not disclosing the entire truth? Probably. It's shade of shit, man. Right, now I can actually go back. Back again! That's all I'm doing, it's just trips back and forth, back and forth. Save as well, while I remember. Yeah, we're back in here. Oh, oh, that's part of a fucking... What is it? I'm going the wrong way. Right, here we go. I just hope I have enough spare parts. If I don't, that's gonna suck. I have... Five. Okay. Five. Cool. Woo! Thank you. 
I'm actually concerned as to what I needed to do. Hold up. This one. Get Bellarine's room key from his body. Oh, it's in Psychotronics. Oh. I didn't even need to be here. Oh well. Diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing affordable medical care. Try to relax. All done. You can fill out a service questionnaire at the front desk. Mm, no. How, how about that, buddy? On the plus side, it's... Sorted. Now I know where I need to go. The Psychotronics Mog. Ah, oh, I thought... I thought he got administered over here. Not administered. That's the wrong word, but whatever. I thought he got put over this way. But then there was like, don't. Some bullshit. I don't know, it's dumb. Heart damn. Uh, I'm actually gonna disable... Uh, get rid of this, as well as all of the darts. I'm not gonna use them. They're also incredibly fucking useless. Ooh, dismantle for three spare parts. Uh, nah. Get rid. And an auto saw. I should probably get rid of some of this. It's a fucking apple. It gives me five health. Restores health by one. Cures fear. Uh, hey. Okay. Mostly just looking around. That's also a healing thing that only gives one health. No. Restores five health. Radiation sickness. That's actually useful. All of those. Fucking hell. I do definitely want to keep those. Uh, get rid of those as well. Sorted. Don't really care what it's giving me. Look at all these little cubes. Yeah. I keep forgetting I can just hold down X and it'll take everything. Well, there you go. Oh wait, yeah. I'm just like, what should I make? Bullets. I'm at two. I can't make anything. Nope, I need one more of these. Shit. I don't even know what I get that from more commonly. I think it's iron. Or maybe it's more so metal. Oh, min wait, mineral, in it? You have your synthetic, your mineral, your exotic, and something else. I don't know what the something else one is, though. Oh, another flinxy foam bolt. Hooray! Look at this. I never actually looked at these before. I know there's this, but I knew for a fact I wouldn't be able to repair it. Okay. Welp. I guess we're going in. Look at all that goo. Alright, cool. Go. Bam bam bam. Hardware Labs. You got it. One thing I, uh... I'm, oh, I might still be able to get it, actually. I have one Neuromod remaining. So, if I can, I'm going to get the perk... I'm calling them perks, because that's essentially what they are. I'm gonna get the one that allows me to... use... or when I swing the wrench, it does a lot less stamina. It reduces it by a quarter, which would be nice. Because the wrench you can swing five times and then he's just like... <sighs> completely out of breath. I'm like, that's a bit useless. I swing it wildly. Technological marvels such as the looking glass terminals are protect prototyped and developed in the hardware labs. Oh! Ooh, we might see a lot of looking glass stuff. I wonder when the game actually forces us to fight a phantom. I mean, we fought a few in in the Talos 1 lobby, but I just wonder. Hey, here we are. Yeah, I want to actually just look whether or not I can get the thing. Uh, oh, wow, it, it's three Neuromods. I thought it was just a singular one. Well, shit. Increased damage with security weapons to 120%. That would be nice. There's a lot of things, to be honest. What is this? Sneak attack? Oh, right, yeah. That just means it does more damage. I may get that as well, because that would result in getting more... Like, more exotic materials, which would mean... good things. Great. Oh, shit. If you wish to avoid direct confrontation. Press B if you wish to avoid direct confrontation. While sneaking, you move silently and can hide behind cover to avoid being spotted. As enemies detect you, an enemy will appear over them. 
White means they are suspicious, red means you're busted. When a white enemy, take more damage from your attacks. Actually, if I have a... I've got a silenced pistol. Oh, I can't actually aim any further. Holy fucking hell. Ah. Maybe using a pistol on it was not such a good idea. Didn't really think. It's a robot. Wow, I'm down to 16 bullets. Oops. A foyer. Foyer. Ooh. Q-beam cells. Spare parts. I need dismantle. Oh, you blow. Big Bang Candy! Sounds delicious. Ooh, two emails. There's a- whoa. That was weird. There's a lot of reading in this game. You're my only hope. Hey, I sent Larson to the demo theater to see if he can sneak a bottle of old Sardin. Join us? Demo delay. Hope, just a heads up, that the Artux propulsion system demo will have to be delayed. We are still working on a slight calibration issue in the machine shop, but it's nothing to worry about. Franklin. Wasn't there two? Two corrupted robots. I always go for the plants. Because they're great. I can hear something. Oh. I keep getting Q-beam cells. But I don't know what that's for. I am wondering whether or not there was another corrupted robot and I've just missed it. I'm not sure. Ooh! Plastic turbine! Frayed wire! Oh. Oh wow. Oh dear, what happened? Oh dear. Not good. Not good at all. It just seems stuff got fucked up. Wait, too far too fast too? And Johnson's term came to an end, paving the way for President Reagan. Even then, the space race was showing signs of faltering, the eager push from previous dec decades being dulled by the lack of advancement that space had seemed to promise. The Soviet uni Union had already suffered economic collapse through similar space focus. Many in Washington and the Pentagon found further spending on the space program unpopular, giving rise to a wave of politicians, many of whom had also successfully prevented US involvement in Vietnam, that focused on solving problems at home. Yes, focus on the stuff happening in your country, and... Just forget about shit and other. Asteroid fragment? What the hell? Is that something I can get rid of? Terraforming Mars. Article on colonization of Mars by Dan Oosley. But the cost of these Mars installations and their continued maintenance is staggering, and their Spartan shells are a far cry from the idyllic colonies. Pictured by turn-of-the-century inspirational space tourism posters. All that might be about to change. In a rare interview, Transtar President Alex Yu reveals his vision of a Mars where families in short sleeves can picnic in a grassy field, then pick out the point of light that is Earth after the sun sets. Enabling this vision requires terraforming Mars, the most challenging engineering problem the human race has ever faced. Yu presents an innocuous gr grey moss to me, an extremophile organism designed specifically for that purpose, dubbed, uh, Takakia Catherine. The simple looking plant is actually a fantastically efficient organic machine that given enough centuries will convert the Martian atmosphere into something that very much resembles our own. Ooh, that sounds fancy. Whoa, fuck. I didn't realize that was something explosive. <laughs> I did when it uh, got too late and it exploded in my face. That was when I realized. I can hear something making a bunch of noise. Oh, oh, it's a phantom. What do you see through the glass? Oh, fuck. I can hear it, but I don't know if it's up above or down below. What's is that looking at me? Fucking hell. We got it. Fuck me, they explode. Woo! Gimme... Oh. It's a Neuromod! Yeah! 
Oh, they've all been taken. Well, that's bullshit. So I now have two of them? I think? That's combat focus. Time slows down around you and action costs 50%... 50% stamina. That's a lot nicer. Uh... Doubles both the duration of well-fed bonus and the health gained by consuming food. I think I'm still gonna save for necropsy, honestly. It just seems like a thing that would be nice to have. Oh, it's locked. Of course it is. I'm actually gonna use up one of the... Can I do it from this? LB. I can indeed. It is, it's up there. That's why I can hear it clear as fucking day. Oh dear. Yeah, I can hear it clear as fucking day. But couldn't see it. Or anything. Oh, oh that's crew. And wondered why. Pistol ammo! Wait, silence pistol ammo. What's the difference? Hey! So you found a weapon upgrade kit. These can be used to upgrade weapons. I'm honestly gonna upgrade the pistol. Yes. Upgrade the firepower to 10. Yep. Just because I think it's honestly... Oh, shit. Which one did I upgrade? This one. So that needs to be one that's favorite. Favorited. Yes. And I need to unfavorite this one. Right, okay. Do I still have two neural mods? And what is it I need? I need three to be able to get. Where's Dismantle? Ah, oh, there. I still need three. I may get that next, because it seems that would be useful. Area map. Thank you. And security controls would also be very nice. Whoa. This place is huge. Calvino's workshop. There's a power kiosk. Another one over there. There is a... A grav shift? Oh, elevator, basically. Uh, what else? That's the main mission. Operator dispenser. Okay. Oh, unlock security locker. That's what that is! Oh. Downside is I get the feeling there's something inside of it. Aha! Oh, frayed wire. Nothing else. Now nah, I think the phantom's up above. There may be a mimic in here or something, but... Oh, it's a turret! Oh, never mind. Yay! Frayed wire in a suit repair kit. I've gotten so many of those. Yeah, no, carry. Y'all coming with me, buddy. So what's that? Demonstration theatre. There's also... A there's a mimic over that way. What the hell? Oh no! You still wish we went alone in the universe. I'm assuming that's just a show with a phantom. Yes. Oh, it's that! Right, okay. I didn't realise I took a turret through it. I mean, I knew I took a turret through it, it's just I didn't realise it was going to do that. And deploy. I don't remember where the mimic went to. So, there is that. Oh, another! Another upgrade kit. Wow, okay. I'm just like, what do I want to upgrade? Glue gun, maybe? A glue gun could be useful. Incapacitation rate. Reduce glue ammunition required to incapacitate targets. That would be nice. Yes. I've not really used it in a while, but... My reason for not using it is purely because... Fucking God. Yeah, my reason for not using it is just because I've wanted to... You know, find... A blueprint to be able to create shit from it. Yeah. And so until I get that, it's just like, eh. Okay. Holy fuck a doodle. Look at all this stuff. I'm rich. There's also something shaking. A bunch of... What the heck? Oh no. Oh, right.
Aww. Oh shit. Larson. Oh dear. Employee entrance. Got a nuki card. Holy fuck. There is so much booze here. I mean it is a theatre but still. No I, I honestly when I saw the Clive or saw the Clive guy what I thought it was was a mimic you know being able to impersonate a human and also use guns. Thankfully not the case. Yeah. Multiple objectives. Over that way. I want to take this turret with me. To the... To, 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 to my death. Hold up. I want to jump down. But I don't know if I can get back up. Oh, I think I can. Maybe. Oh! Can I... No. Okay. Oh dear. Hang on. Great. What can I do with this? I get the f Oh wait, I can use- I forgot about that. Yep. I completely forgot that this can be used to actually... Stop hazards. Oh, that's cool. Notice so we have a dead guy. Very nice. EMP charge. And a wrench. They're grenades. Whoa. Fancy. The EMP charge emits a large burst of electromagne bleh, electromagnetic energy, highly effective against robots, turrets, and other electrical-based entities. Can be thrown or affixed to stationary objects using RT. Cool. I'm mostly just thinking, like, what? Wait, what is this? Oh! It was hiding something. I think that may have been the only thing, though. Yeah. I can climb up there. The thing is, like, with the glue gun, I'm a bad shot. So I just don't know... I guess? Fucking... what? Okay. I mean, that might work. Climb! There you go. I can't climb that. Oh, shit. Are you serious? Wow, that just does not want to work, does it? Oh, there we go. Maybe. Eh. And again. Whoop. Ah, yeah! That's what I mean, using the glue guns, it's not a hard thing, it's just awkward. Oh, where am I? Oh shit, the atrium. Oh yeah. Oh fuck, I've just realised where I am. A lot of the station tech starts here. Lab equipment, special parts requests, prototypes. We should be able to fix your looking glass terminal from Dr. Calvino's workshop. And him. Oh fuck. That works. Nice. Wait, what does this switch to? No. I want that, and I think I'll just switch to this. So. Oh, fuck. Crap. Right, okay, so that switches the other weapon out. I didn't realise. There we go. We got him! Oh no we didn't. No we did. Yeah, fucker! What the hell was that? Cooler fan! Whoa! Oh, I can hear another. Are they up above? As well? Oh, I really hope not. What I'd really need with the glue gun is for it to shoot slower and be a lot more effective. Essentially. Be perfect. Hands-on electronics. 
By working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital digital electronics. By the end, you will be able to construct any simple circuit. As Thomas Edison, oh, I read that. I didn't realise until I got to the end. I was like, oh, it mentioned Edison. Ballistics lab. Seems somebody had an accident. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. I've realised where the Phantom probably is. Indeed. I'd say the creepiest thing with the Phantoms though is just the fact they can speak and they don't. S they, I don't know if they even speak English. Whoa. Fucking hell, calm down. What the fuck? Red. That fucking sucks. Uh, luckily, I have a shitload of medkits. Can I just? Oh, it's that. Does that work now? Yeah, screw you. Oh, it's a note. Log every. Log every time you enter the maintenance crawl space through the access panel, leaky pipe fixed, unexplained light flicker, unable to locate source, power grid okay, electrical device near machine shop, door unstable, use local as adhesive for temporary fix. In case of emergency, head into the maintenance crawl space via the small, via the small access panel below the shut off, to shut off local power, notify me immediately. Oh, okay. So it means like under here. What does it? And this doesn't shut off fucking anything. Still doesn't shut it off. Whatever. Oh my god, there's a health kit. Yeah! That does not work. Shit. Oh god. There you go. Yeah. Sorted. Oh, the fire's gone. Just need to get out. There we go. Yeah, I don't trust that fucking thing at all. Not at all. Right there, the elevators. Love how it's dripping from the ceiling. With black goop. Oh, that's where I need to be. Uh, okay. Basically means I don't want to go there yet. Oh, I knocked over a chair. Oops. My bad. I didn't realise I actually knocked something over. Right, so, is there a phantom? There's a something. Oh, fuck. Transcribe. Mayu. Hello? Hey, it's Langley. Are you a... Is there anything weird going on? Oh, it's over him. There? No, like what? I don't want you to panic. What is going on, Langley? Not sure yet. Security is running all over the place. So, everyone's still working there? I guess, I don't know. I've been in the oh, lab there it all is. day, hang on. I'm looking now. I don't... Oh. What was that? Oh my god, I think we just lost two labs. What? I have to go. Oh dear. Some kind of bad dream. The fuck? I'm waiting for it to get into shot. I don't see it. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, grab. And a boof. I was about to say, that does probably mean it didn't see me. Oh, my. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. Shit. Whoa. Crap. Uh oh. I don't know where it went. It turned into mist. Ooh. Grit. Well, it especially sucks when you don't know where the fucking thing has gone. It's not dead. Not even close. 
There it is. No, that's a mimic. Oh. Maybe it did die. No, it didn't. Okay, the phantom is elsewhere. Vanish, you seem frustrated. I'm trying to tell where the fucking thing went to. You ever been half awake? Yes. You ever been half asleep? What? I'll be honest, I don't know where the fucking thing is. There he is. Cool. I missed. My goodness. Phantoms suck. Only because they're so beefy. Uh, I think I can climb over this. Oh. Yay! Spare parts. Love my send some spare parts. Okay. Okay. Could repair this. Yeah, sure, go for it. Boom! Yay, he's alive! Probably a good thing, really. Small kit. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I haven't done hacking in a while. Crap. I win! Bim 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 bim. Ooh. So we have these. You win. To whomever gave dear Mr. Gloomy McGlueface, or Gluey McGlueface, arms, aka first shift, I bow to thee. At first I thought the jellied eel hat could not be topped. I stand corrected. Your triumphant creation of baseball glove hands cannot be equaled. Sincerely, the unworthy second shift. If you need supplies, I pressed the wrong button. If you need supplies, hello, this is a reminder that if you need supplies from the machine shop, the supply closet's code is 0475. If you take anything, please let me know. The glue test results. So, specimen, there. Specimen FHJ89C, glue adhesion 